seen anything like this. Fantastic. Hey! Hiya! Hi. Hey, you look shattered. Are you all right? Uh, no, I'm not, actually. I'm sorry, but can I have a word? Alison, why don't you two go into the back and have a cup of tea? I'll finish off here. Oh, are you sure? Hey, no problem. Thanks. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you at work. Well, what is it? What's happened? Nothing's happened to Jim, has it? No, no, it's not Jim. It's Peter. What's happened? Deirdre, the other night I was locking up the pub and he, he came on to me. I told him I wasn't interested, but he just didn't take no for an answer. He got really nasty with me. Oh, what do you mean? How far did he go? Well, he didn't, because in the end I managed to chuck him out, but... I was really scared, Deirdre. Oh, Liz, I'm so sorry. He was really nasty. I mean, he was drunk. But... No. No excuse. God, this has gone far enough. I warned Ken about this. I told him Peter had a problem. What are you going to do? I don't know. But somebody's got to put a stop to him. And if Ken won't do it, I will. You admit it, then? Not in the way Liz tells it. Well, how, then? Well, I don't know. I mean, these things happen. Maybe, maybe I misread the signals, or maybe she changed her mind. And what's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on. I mean, she's hardly Julie Andrews, is she? And she's not the first barmaid to lead a fella on. Oh, that's you all over, isn't it? <laughs> what is? Well, turning it round so that it's Liz to blame. You won't take responsibility for yourself or your actions. Oh, right. Here we go. What do you mean, here we go? Ever since I arrived here, you've been determined to think the worst of me, haven't you? Well, it's hardly surprising, is it? All you've done is slob about and drink too much, and now you've started attacking me friends. What's going on here? Oh, it's nothing, Dad. It doesn't sound like nothing. Well, why don't you ask Deirdre, then? She seems to have got it all worked out, don't you? The other night, when Peter was drunk, he made a very unwelcome pass at Liz. She practically had to throw him out. Oh, I see. Well, is that all you can say? Well, obviously, if Peter behaved inappropriately, he'll have to sort that out. Well, I hope he does. He will. He's not a bad person, Deirdre. He's just a bit lost at the moment. He could try being a little more understanding. And you could try being a little less naive. I'm going back to work. Les, can I have a pint, please, and a white wine spritz, sir? You can indeed. You know, I thought you were on a health kick with all this juice you're drinking. Yeah, well, we are, sort of. No, we're just having half hour off. Right. Mm. Liz. Liz. I'm serving. Yeah, I know. It won't take long. I, I just wanted to apologise for the other night. I was out of order. Yeah. You were. Yeah, yeah, I know. And I'm sorry. And it won't happen again. Good. So is that it then? You still gonna give me the cold shoulder? What do you expect me to do? Throw my arms around you? Listen, love, I'm no expert, but if I were you, I mean, I'd, I'd think about a change of career. Sorry? Well, I mean, if you can't handle the odd frisky punter, then I reckon that you're in the wrong job. <laughs> so, how did the interview go? Yeah, good. I think I'm in with a chance. Of course you are. I mean, you've got a distinct advantage. The new owners know you can run this place already. Yeah, I suppose so. And what about Peter? Did he apologise? Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Nothing. It's sorted. Listen, I don't want to cause any more trouble between the two of you. Oh, don't worry. I think Peter's perfectly capable of causing his own trouble. <laughs> 